The L3 Harris BNVD, many of you have probably heard it referred to as the PVS31 or ANPVS31, 31 Alpha. So that is the actually the military designation for this system. The program itself is known as the BNVD, Binocular Night Vision Device, and it was developed as a successor to the ANPVS-15 binocular night vision goggle for US SOCOM. So when you hear somebody refer to a PVS-31 or a PVS-31 Alpha or a PVS-31 Bravo or a PVS-31 Charlie, all of those are these L3 PVS-31s, these L3 BNVDs. The A, B, and C, you know, so A is just for white phosphor, B is a Navy contract version, C is an Air Force contract version. For all intents and purposes, for modern systems delivered today, the main difference is what is written on the little label and what is written on the manual. So going over the features of the L3 BNVD. So the BNVD is an articulating dual tube binocular night vision device. It uses two L3 Harris unfilmed tubes with a 2376 minimum figure of merit. They are an articulating goggle, which means that the optical pods rotate independently around the central bridge. They come from the factory with these rubber bikini covers. Unlike some dual tube goggles on the market, they do not have independent channel cutoffs. So what that means is that when you flip the pods up, they don't shut themselves off, they will stay on. So that is something to keep in mind that's, that differs from many of the dual tube goggle systems currently on the market. They're powered by a single AA battery. However, each BNVD kit comes with the cold weather battery pack that's powered by four double A's, as well as the 25 inch cable that allows you to run auxiliary power to the goggle, giving you over 50 hours of battery life. The cold weather battery pack also has uh, built-in IR strobes. As you can probably see here personally, I don't really like to use the built-in strobe, so I actually take a piece of 100 mile an hour tape and I block off the switch to the strobe uh, because I'm usually using something like a Manta or a Hellstar or a different type of strobe. That being said, if you don't feel like using another strobe, uh, you can always use the built-in strobes. The primary reason that I like that, that I like to block that off is because the switch has a habit of some time of, of inadvertently getting moved sometimes and that will drain the battery in your battery pack. Other features of the BNVD, um, unlike most night vision systems, the L3 BNVD actually has a fixed diopter. So that means that you cannot adjust the diopter focus. Instead, what it has are these diopter inserts. Uh, there are multiple different inserts available, but the factory uh, negative 0 0.50 diopter is generally optimized for 95% of people out there. And you can see I'm wearing, you know, I wear eyeglasses have my entire life. As long as your vision is correctable, that 0 0.50 diopter will work just fine for you. You don't have to have perfect vision to use uh, the BNVD. Moving on to the objective lenses. Again, question that we get frequently is wanting to purchase sacrificial lens caps for the BNVD. However, the sacrificial lens caps are actually built into the device itself. So these flat caps, one of the things that you'll notice, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but you can see the curved face of the lens. So all of these lenses are curved and this, that flat lens that you see in front is actually sacrificial lens and it's also got some filters and, and anti-reflective coating as well. The L3 BNVD does have a manual gain control. That means that you can control the brightness of the tube, really you're controlling the amount of light amplification. That is controlled by this knob up here. You can turn it to adjust the gain. This knob is also the power knob. So to turn on the device, all you need to do is press in on it. So it's a dual function, uh, dual function switch there. In order to turn it off, same thing, you just hold that button down for three seconds. From the factory, the BNVD is set up with an auto sleep function. That means that if you tilt it up while mounted to a helmet, it will shut itself down. And then when you flip it back, it will turn itself back on. 
you can disable that function inside the device. I tend to prefer to disable that device, but depending on what you're doing, you may prefer to continue to use that function. And finally, you have uh, the interpupillary adjustments, which are these knobs on either side here. You can use them to independently adjust. And what those do, if you look in here, there are these little nubs that interface with strike plates inside the hinge and it simply limits the amount of travel of that hinge so that you can make sure that it's set properly to your eye distance. And that's the L3 BNVD ANPVS31, ANPVS31 Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, but not the PVS31 Delta. That's a different system entirely.